Hello my friends, Bayani here. In this video here we just uh, gonna do a uh, every for the bird. We have few love bird and one uh, very fit. We just try to make a place, bigger place for them for the summer. Yes, is this a recording? What we gonna do here? This one here we have um, we have guinea pig. So I'm just gonna use the guinea pig cage and make a place for them to stay, for the bird to stay. So here you can see we have a lot of space underneath where you can make some nesting place. And when the winter come, we can put a, a heat in there, keep them warm. And I can isolate this part all around, just leave one side open. And then they can stay around probably the whole winter. And here, like you see, have a space there. I'm just gonna screw a 2x6 and make some nest box box for them in there. I'm use whatever I have in here. Some stuff that I had left over. I have a few gates. I'm just gonna use the gate that way the animal doesn't reach it. But the most of the job gonna be done with this uh, half inch. Inch wire. This is a 20 gauge. We're gonna show you the progress. I just have two gates. This one here. I'm gonna put. I have this two by ten in there. It's a little bit deep. That way the rat doesn't uh, come in. And this one here, we're gonna put the mesh on the inside of this gate. That way you have this big screen there. That way the raccoon or other animal doesn't uh, read with the birds. And let's work. And I just split the mesh on a half. That way you can cover because we have it about uh, 72 inches and I just split one and a half that way I cover the top part of the cage. You can take a look in there the cage. You see the, the part that I'm cutting is just to fill in this top part of it because we have 48 goes up to here. And then that one that I'm split, gonna be one for that side, another one for this side. And this is why I cut one little bit bigger than the other. Because one side is higher, because a little bit, it has a little bit of a slope. You can see this one is short, this one is bigger. Here guys, like you can see, I have my dough for the bird. I just gonna put some mesh wire and I be good to go. Hello my friends, okay we're here. My bird case is uh, ready to go. What we done in here, we put two posts. 
and put the two woods on top in here and was the base for our our, our bird cage and here we have a 2 by 10 deep inside the ground like we dug quite a bit to put them there and inside like you guys can see here we have this old gate in here we use it for extra protection in case a rat can come and try to get in here we have a you can see around we have a, another gate on this other side here i had some leftover of this uh, other mesh wire i just just put it in there that way if something try to get in see you have double wire here we just uh, we put uh, some weed there that way they can enjoy and the way that we have this to be safe like you guys can see the door is open right now we have this uh, cloth in here hanging down that would keep it safe from the board to escape if you step in I just show you you guys can come close like in here I have this part see I'm in here I just close the door and I am behind the cloth in here bird not gonna escape once I step in here I'm safe hello buddy you can see this bird they are very tame we have a two lower board, male lower board, and one female body. So they just, uh, they are very tamed, uh, good to go. Wow. Hello, buddy. And uh, like you guys can see here, we have this part that is uh, exposed to the sun, all open, and then we have uh, some place here where they can hide this part work very well because the space is just like a i think 42 and a half inches wide so it's just not enough space to put another door and uh, down here the bird have a nice place to hide like you guys can see i put a piece of two by six that way it would be a little bit high if they want to hide and uh I put a piece of 2x4 in here that way they have a place to hide and uh, if they start to give fight or something like that all I have to do I have just to divide it that way they don't have contact to each other but those three guys they work very good together and we have some grass and stuff going on in here once you put the grass and the, the thing you just have to make sure that nothing is poisonous because some of this plant they can be poisonous can kill your bird just make sure you check before you put them this one here we have a uh, grass we have done the lions we have a uh, clover and most of it grass so we good in here and we have some um, and we have a lot of we're gonna have some sun shock coming up in here when they think warm up a little bit more and this is the place where I used to plant some sunshock which tells is uh, they grow very fast like a sunflower and it's uh, very good for the bird and here like you see we have the wire the wire just go in between the 2 by 6 and then the, this is a 2 by 12 and you can see I dug quite a bit to put them on the ground that way you would eliminate some uh, rat from coming for the bird and this is what it is and just make sure everything is nice and safe for the bird like this wire here like you see we bend it bend the wire but it's all bent to the outside side so it is safe for the bird to to fly around they're not gonna get hurt and this one here we just make a, was a joint we just make a kind of a thread and they are just there else doesn't hurt the bird because we just bend it for the other side 
you guys can see look this guy they are not used to the place yet we just put them in here see they still a little bit uh, they don't know about this place yet i think it's the first time they come down here and uh, it worked very good i think they just gonna be happy here they already start to chew on it this is still a good piece it lasts forever but it's a little bit rotten the reason that i put it there because this guy they like to chew on stuff so the rotten stuff is good for them but if you in case you have if you have a big a big pair they like to chew a lot you need to do them not on wood but on a steel because some of those guys they would eat this wood like nothing okay let's just step outside here like the way you do here like you guys can see i just put uh, some few nails roofing nails in there to hold this on place like you guys can see from there i just go in see like this would be safe once i'm in here the door is closed and i fit in there i just open the door and you step out and you guys can see from there this is it's very tight and these are clear we can see the board i love you guys and see you on the next video yes guys and then i just built this bird trap something that i used to do when i was a kid back home the purpose of this bird trap is in case uh, if the bird escape and they don't come to us they go scared well, eventually they're gonna come for the food and we can cut them back in here the way i i do this is just something like that and then bird goes in we cut them right let you know in the comment and then i would uh, explain for you would build another one show you how and here's uh, another even easier one this is just a, a board cage and i just lift it up the door like that triggers in there board is stepped in right. nice and easy